So if you guys are shot, just, you know, signal, let us know. Then you can call 911. Your character's going to die, but, yeah, you know, no, if that happens. Uh, yeah. we, will, we will tell you first before <laughs> I uh, assist anyone else. Uh, you know, just be gracious. Just be <laughs> gracious. Uh, folks, welcome aboard. It's Saturday night. You know what that means. Murder Hobo Inc. Uh, tonight is the one shot. Uh, it's a very special one shot. We've got uh, those thieving bastardo fifth level knights of bane going to uh rip off the holy hey, honorable fay hey it's eighth level for i told you that eighth level fifth level same thing it doesn't matter <laughs> uh, murder all his bad guys. oh you're not gonna murder my bad guys you gotta have a little faith in me uh you know but, you know, besides i'm gonna cheat on the hit points uh folks follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to buy our cool crap as carol says uh it's down below if you want to join us on discord down below most importantly if you want to be on the show either the talk show or the one shot m hobo inc twitter or gmail hit us up let us know we'll try and get you on the show uh give you a little two hours worth of fun or two hours worth of torment uh it's all in the eye of the beholder that's going to face these guys later uh like i said these are the knights of bane they are eighth level as uh carol has corrected me that's okay i wrote this thing a couple weeks ago so i'm sure it'll be fine there's only three dragons in it uh but first let's go ahead and introduce you to our cast uh I don't know them except for Carol. God help me. Uh, but these guys all know Carol. God help them. Uh, we will start with Grand. Grand, who are you and who are you playing tonight? Oh, oh sorry. No, that's right. We're going to start, we're gonna yeah, start with Carol. We're going to start with yeah. Carol because she knows what she's doing. Go ahead. Yeah, because they have not done this before. Hi, she's everyone. been here. My name is Carol. Yeah, these are my friends. We are the Hand of Bane and we go to various conventions and such and we try to get a table together so we can bring the word of Bane or the might of Bane all around the Adventures League. Uh, I'm normally on the campaign. Uh, I'm also a commission mini painter, longtime gamer, sometime GM, and I am playing, <laughs> this will be familiar, I'm playing Nocturne, aka Taryn's twin sister from the campaign. So there is a story there of why, but I want to get to the game. So. So I get to kill you twice in two weeks, is what you're well, saying? Well, I get, I get to kill her. Oh, oh, I see. In different forms. Yeah, cute. Wish? Crap. Uh, okay, now let's start out with the new players. Grand, who are you and who are you playing tonight? Uh, my name is Nathan. I'm playing Grand the Inevitable. He is a uh, Oath of the Crown paladin. He was born and raised in the Hillsfar pits uh, in, uh, as a gladiator. He got the, the moniker... Uh, inevitable by being the guy who would clean up anybody who had got too good at what they were doing in Hillsfar and they didn't want them getting earning their freedom as it were eventually they started to look at Grand and they said you know what we're going to take this guy out but then a couple of Bayonites saw Grand saw something special in him and decided to, to indoctrinate him that would be the other two Hanson brothers I'm guessing <laughs> uh, Doroth is next Doroth who are you who are you playing? Hello, my name is Joel. Um, I am playing Doroth, a dragonborn paladin from Zental Keep. He a uh, basically born and raised in a Bane uh, church, Church of Bane. Very nice. Daharius, you are up next. Hi, I'm Bob. I'm playing Darius Stoneforge. His history doesn't matter because all that matters now is leading the unwashed masses to the glory of Bane. Yeah! And Deirdre, you are up last but yeah, not least. That's all good. Uh, my name is John. John. Um, I run a couple conventions are in the New Hampshire area, open gaming convention and um, another anime convention uh, with my wife. Uh, she actually runs them. I just help out. Um, I am playing Deirdre, a tiefling paladin of Bane. Uh, she is the daughter of Levistus. He was encased in ice. Um, and she carries her mother around in a small little glass vial as a miniature larva. So it's basically like a little, little silk, silkworm with a huge human face on it that screams so if you just put it up to your ear you can hear it it's wonderful <laughs> it's so good so the shatter spell's probably going to affect you adversely mentally oh, no. I, no I, maybe i don't care <laughs> she's a she's more of a trophy mom than a real mom 
Rocks fall, mom dies. I'm going to love this one. Uh, folks, a uh, big shout out to our sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice, who makes dice who roll entirely too high for my players, and oddfishgames.com. Oddfishgames.com. They are also in the Adventure Sense world. Smells like Rowdy Tavern still. Uh, and they can also teach you how to cook with chemicals. So check out oddfishgames.com. Uh, back to the game. These guys are eighth level Knights of Bane. They're a little on the <laughs> questionable evil side. No, we're not. Uh, we're all neutral. We can't be evil for AL unless we, there was. It can be evil, yeah. <laughs> all in the <laughs> hit. I mean, law and order side. As 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 neutral as we can get away with, anyway. Yeah, we're neutral. <laughs> we're all neutral, but for the record, because we just have a, bad PR. That's really all. It is. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> We need social. We need. We need. We need better social. Social. Uh, social management here. Well, tonight's not going to help your credibility at all because the high chancellor has called you guys in. Uh, what with your reputation and all of getting things done, uh, she has decided that you have been tasked with a very important mission. You are going to go after the Acorn of the Fae, a minor, major magic item uh, somewhere hidden past Gloomwood. Uh, this item, as you can tell, is most likely an acorn. Probably. Maybe. Not sure. Uh, and it will have a complete bearing on the morale of the Fae so that you can push those troublesome dryads and other pixie-esque creatures out of the way for the good of Bane, because that's what you guys are all about. Uh, Wait, it is what? I said way too chaotic. That's what it is. There you go. Uh, you are going to go to an area known as the Scar, uh, similar to the Grand Canyon. Uh, it is a hole in a mountain range far to the south. Uh, it is going to take you a full week riding on your trusty steeds that your DM has a tendency and propensity to kill if he can. Uh, fair warning there. Uh, like I said, you are headed towards and through Gloomwood, a notoriously haunted forest region. Uh, hopefully you will pass through there without issue and then into the scar and to find the shrine where the acorn resides is anybody's guess. Uh, the High Chancellor does not have that information. Uh, she just knows that it is, it is secreted somewhere in this area known as the Scar. You have been given potions of healing, which you have shown great disdain for since you were all paladins and can cure yourselves without fear of commitment <laughs> or uh, being judged by people. Uh, who wants to roll against me first with the D12? Any one of you guests? God, fine. Oh, I was... Let's do it. Okay, no. Darius. I've got uh, my brand new dice that I got uh, as a belated birthday slash Father's Day gift. I've never used them. So here we go. They're iron. Nice. Ooh. That's going to dent your table. A three. Oh, so sorry. I got a four. <laughs> Wait, why did so... we let Bob roll? Didn't tell you. Get out of the way first. Yeah. <laughs> Get it out of the way. That's right. Bob, you're no longer allowed to roll for your associates anymore. Okay. Uh, hey, everybody. As, you, as you make it through <laughs> Gloomwood, uh, you notice the undead seem to part from you, uh, whether they are sensing your magical aura, your overwhelming presence, or the fact that Deharius almost tripped over himself uh, while riding a horse, possibly backwards. <laughs> uh, the good news is the undead are ignoring you. The bad news is, everybody give me a perception check. Oh, no. Oh, good. Uh, oh. Let's see. Perception's one of our strong things, right? Yeah, oh, we're really good at yeah, perception. The, yeah, some right. of us are. If you have the shield. Yep. I got, <laughs> I got a nine. I got an eight. Four. <laughs> Man, my back hurts from carrying the team so much. <laughs> well, wait, roll the 16 there, Deidre. Uh, Deirdre and Nakia, you notice that as the trees begin to space out a little bit since Gloomwood is now ending, uh, two crisscrossing shadows circumvent your path ahead. Uh, as you look up, all of your mounts uh, start to rear back a little bit as if sensing 
an evil presence. Noctia, Deirdre, you have found two shadows zipping across the landscape ahead of you. What would you like to do? Tell the others. Hey, did you see that going across the street? Ron, Dorath, and Harrius. No, you did not. <laughs> not a clue. Not one freaking clue. Uh, it's almost high noon, and as you stare up into the sky, the sun finally reaches the breaks through the canopy, and uh, apparently, the, no, there's no shadows. You don't see Jack flying around. Uh, Noctia and Deirdre will confirm that they definitely, for sure, 100% saw something. You three didn't see, don't see, don't intend on seeing Jack. Uh, okay. Would you like to continue or what? I'm going to use Divine Sense. Okay. And sense the presence of any celestial fiend undead within 60 feet. That's oh, yeah. behind total cover. Oh, sure. Yeah. There's undead. <laughs> All right. Oh, that we should, haunted. We should move forward. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they are right on the edges of the trees. Yeah. Uh, they will not come within striking distance. Okay. I will draw my weapon anyways, just to be safe. Sure. Uh, as I stated before, the trees are starting to sparse out. This is certainly the tail end of Gloomwood. Uh, and after a week of riding and two days of going through this stupid forest, you're quite happy, but fortunately, there have been no combat uh, and no reason to heal. Although every evening, uh, you can hear the bones clinking uh, as the undead surround your area. Uh, would you like to proceed forward? Yep. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pull my sword out. Okay. Um. Same. And I I say in infernal free Levistus, and the sword ignites in blue flame. Yeah. It's, a, it's a flame tongue sword. So I'll kind of use it as a light source and just kind of keep an eye out on the, uh, you know, the shadows, wherever they may be. High noon. High noon. So yeah. uh, <laughs> each, each one of you will assume that because it is high noon and bright sunlight, it wasn't evil shadows. It was the shadow of some type of avian creature yeah. uh, being cast down. Might be sparrows. Could just be two sparrows. Uh, you know, mockingbirds. Okay. Uh you aren't sure, uh, but Noctia and Deidre, the shadows were big. Uh, as you keep yeah. going, you enter into a slight rise as the forest starts to fall behind you. You notice the undead close ranks. Uh, your passage back into Gloomwood, eh, maybe a bit of a fight. Uh, they do not venture out into the hilly area and the mountains begin to rise in their full glory. Dark mountains. Uh, nothing like you would assume a fey presence would be. Uh, these hills are dark. Uh, they are covered in ash, and they are covered in shale. Every once in a while, you hear rocks sliding down the high peaks. Uh, this is pretty much an ugly place. Uh, the low mountains are here. There's a small zigzag pass. Beyond that, higher mountains. Beyond that, way higher mountains. Uh, as you reach, uh, let's see here. Uh, the high peaks of the Fowler Mountain chain reach toward the heavens with their loose shale exterior. Even from this distance, you can hear rocks rebound off the sides of the mountain and crash below. The area is extremely uninviting and gives off an air of danger. Your mounts must be firmly coaxed before crossing the hills into the narrow mountain pass. Do you want to keep your mounts or leave them behind? Oh, man. My animal handling is just so top-notch. How about the rest of you? My horse is very <clears throat> nervous. I, mean, I feel if we keep them behind, they're just going to be eaten by what's lurking in the woods. If we bring them with us, they can be eaten. Instead by of us. us. Yes. Or by us. They are. <laughs> my horse is called emergency rations. So. <laughs> is, uh, sir. I think I remember that. All right. Yeah. We're going to keep our horses. And do we want to walk them? That might be a better idea. That makes sense. Sounds like a good idea. All right. You're, the, out just... you're the outdoorsy person. I defer to you. <laughs> yeah. So everybody's right. walking their horses? Yep. 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 
Fair enough. Uh, as you enter the small zigzagging cavern, the high <laughs> peaks loom on either side and dead ahead of you. Uh, this area is going to be rough and unforgiving terrain. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Everybody roll perception check again for me, please. Mm. Oh, good thing I have advantage. I was cocked. I have a 22. 15. <laughs> Nine. Uh, uh, eight and what the hell did I roll? Uh, that'd be a twelve. To Harris, ten. Uh, okay. Everybody hears a booming voice, but only Deirdre can narrow it down. A large booming voice echoes along the canyon walls. <coughs> Stop! Thou shalt not enter upon pain of death. Turn around and save your eternal souls. Uh, Deirdre, you can tell that it comes from a small ledge off to your left. Uh, you have to cross through that area oh, okay. in order to continue because none of you are going <clears> to <throat> climb these shale cliffs of these mountains, especially with your horse. I turn around and do it, but he said, I turn around to look to see. Yep, I, I will just casually point in that direction. Uh, there. who here has seen Galaxy Quest? Yes. Ages ago. The rock monster, uh, stands up and Gosh. rolls down, blocking your path. Turn around, I say. Do not come forward. Only your death is beyond this point. Well, Can I ask why? Are you protecting us from something? I am protecting you from something. Your what death. Is, what is on the other side? This area is not to be tread upon. The gods have deemed it land of the Fae. Thou shalt um, not come in. Fair enough. Um, but we kind of need to get past. Yeah. Do so, do so at your own peril. Everybody roll initiative. Fair enough. <laughs> Oh, 19 on the roll. Oh, let's see. How about nat 20 on the roll? I don't even need to roll with advantage. So that'd be a 20. Yeah, I have an 18. Uh, nine. <laughs> 17. Yeah, those sentinel shields are the best thing I ever ever got. <laughs> I so know. good. The advantage so good. is not really helping me much. Uh, Noctia, you see the stone creature hold out its hands and... <laughs> Two boulders uh, zip into its hands. Looks like it's going bowling. Oh boy! Uh, so I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna. I have my. I'm gonna I have my my sword. Pull my sword and say as a bonus action, say Forenza and ignite it. And I'm going to uh, run up at it and try to take a strike at it. Okay. It's mad. All right, so that be your magic number is sixteen for the AC. Oh, cool. Uh, Should be easy yeah, for eighth levels. Yeah, it's it's you know it's like you don't your your two hit doesn't go up as much as it used to in the old days. So, but that still is a twenty. That's a twenty, a dirty mm -hmm. twenty. So that does hit. We'll see how high this is a rock monster. Um, hold on, we just. It's been a while since we played these characters. Since most of you are old, you can hear Rock Lobster playing in the background because there's always theme music. Okay, so come on, close up. So I'm going to roll 1d8 plus 2d6 for the fire. Do you need me to give this to you separately, the damage? No, you're fine. Okay, so that is all right, five. Fire and seven, so that's 12 points of damage total. Fair enough. Uh, right after Noctia throws her flaming sword of dependence down on Are this creature, uh, it goes bowling. <laughs> its first target, I'm going to be rolling twice. So the first one is going to be a target. Odd will then be you, or even will be your mount because it's an easy one. 10 is my first roll, and 8 is my second roll. So Deharius and Deirdre, uh, Deharius, 
you are odd. Deidre, you will also be odd. Uh, your amounts will be even. Three for Deharius. And three for Deidre. So I will be attacking both of you. You're welcome. Root beer for Deharius. Green for Deidre. Uh, good news, boys. Uh, 18 Deharius. <clears throat> no, 20. And, yeah. and 19 for Deidre. No, 20. There you go. Uh, the <laughs> boulders go rolling past. Uh, that brings us to the 17. Grand, I believe. You are up. All right. This guy's a bit of a ways from us. Or is he like... He's about 30 feet away. All right. I'm going to move and up. And Noctia is also there. All right. Yep. I'm going to move up. Stand next to Noctia. And you're like, all oh, right. Get a slice of this boy. Yeah. Let's get him. Right. I already got him. He's not an impossible hit. All right. Very easy to hit. Very easy. Uh, that is... No challenge to this scenario at all. <laughs> I know your scenarios. Well. Uh, 25 to hit. Mm -hmm. And 7 points of magical slashing damage. There you go. Uh, I got oh, one. one and, I, and I went out of order. Deidre, you had the 18. My apologies. Uh, it's okay. No, no big all deal. Right. Um, right. oh, I still have the second attack. Yeah, just do your tax. It's totally, I, it's totally fine. I'm going to do the same thing you do anyway. So, how does a 17 hit? Yep, that hits. All right, and that is going to be for uh, 10 points of damage. Okay, and Deirdre. Yep. So I draw my sword mandate. I say free Levistus and Infernal. Pop off the horse, and I will move as close as I can to the the creature and attack him. And I'm assuming I'm close enough that I can attack him. Sure. If you can All move right. 30, right? Yep. So, um, with your swords, twenty five would be good enough. Yep. So I have a, um, I have a twenty one to hit. Mm -hmm. So eight, it's eight fire and eight slashing. 16, I'm gonna do it again. Sure. Uh, oh. That that does probably does not hit. I have a tw thirteen. Nope. Swing and a miss as you yep. clink off the stone creature. Uh, next up is the eleven, Deharius. Okay, pull my flame tongue, cry Velka as it erupts into fire. Everyone uh, has a command word. It's great. Right, exactly. No. Ford, uh, stand next to um, Deidre and uh, attack. Yes, gather around me. My 20 <laughs> charisma. <laughs> uh, and that's going to be a miss. Roll to six. That's an 11 total. You just get the one attack then? You get two. You're you at least oh, it's been a while since I've done this system. Um, yeah. No problem. And another six. Nice swinging. So that's uh, <laughs> Doroth, you are up. <laughs> I'm going to move up to the uh, stone monster. Sure. <laughs> and okay. attack it. Uh, I take okay, up my blade. <laughs> I say um, power is peace and draconic and it lights up on fire. Everyone, I forgot everybody but me had the stupid flames. Yeah, well, or does 14 a... hit? No, just you said 16. Yeah, nope. 16. Oh, I'll get something, I'll get something eventually. You'll see. And uh, a two is a nine, so that's also a mess. I nice swing it, boys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, round, <laughs> I didn't say we could hit things, I said we could, we, we, we went to, we're really tough. <laughs> right, yeah, you haven't been hit yet. <laughs> round two, let's see if you get hit. Noctia, you're up. You know what? We can hit things. We took out a room around. Yeah, I, I just saw four misses. <laughs> With a couple other players. <clears throat> All right. So that is. <laughs> so uh, 12 oh. is going to miss. So that's the oh, I'm sorry. What did you say? What was the part about we can hit things and then you rolled a 12? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but my first hit was a uh, 23. So okay, there I, you go. So you're uh, batting 50, you're batting 500. So in the majors, you'd make a lot of money. Everywhere else, you're broke. Yeah. Fine, 10 slashing, and thank you for the murder hobo ink dice because I get a six on one of them, and eight fire. So what, that 18 total. Fair enough. Uh, 19, you know what? Uh, uh oh. Odd even. Uh, if it's odd, I'll have a lot of fun. 
it's a four, so it's just even. I'm going to punch the shit out of somebody. We need to figure Wait. out order. Ten. Deidre has uh, gathered my ire. Deidre, next to me, right? Somebody. Frank. Yeah. Frank, roll it. Check me. Uh, roll it. Disadvantage. I'm next to Deidre. I have the ability to put my sword in front of Deidre and make you roll at disadvantage. Sure. Twenty four was the first roll. <laughs> I know that 20. So ah! we'll 24. go with the 24. Uh, you get your teeth punched out. <laughs> Fair enough. I got hit with hands. <laughs> There's a murder hobo. <laughs> uh, 16 points Perfect. as you get pasted. Uh, that brings us to you, Deidre, as you spit blood, wipe it off with the back of your hand, and menacingly attack. My rock creature. Yeah, um, as I look, I look down the ground, I'm like, "That's not a rock. That's one of my in. That's one of my incisors." I'm like, "Oh, oh, it's on." <laughs> so I'm gonna I, think, again. I think we have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. Uh, I used to do my own dental work back in the back in the clink. <laughs> Twenty-two to hit. It's. Um, I will burn a first-level spell slot for smite uh, for divine smite. Uh, um, so it is. 20 damage from the weapon. Okay. And six fire damage. Okay. And I will do a second attack. Uh, and I miss. Fair enough. Uh, hey, one, one, one around. I'm good with that. Yeah. 17. Grand. You're up. Oi. You will want to kill this thing. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not rolling out even next time. <laughs> All right, Grand. All right. All right. Let's see what we got. Uh, that is a mighty uh, 13, so I'm going to assume that misses. <laughs> that does miss. does miss. Ah, uh, but I'll bet a 20, uh, 26 hits. Uh, 26 does hit. You know what? And you, uh, you kind of like made your point clear, so we're going to throw some spice on this, and I'm going to drop a smite on it first level. Yeah, go ahead and throw those smites away early, boys. <laughs> Four? We have like six of them each. <laughs> I'm Got sure you won't need them all. <laughs> Groups of paladins are just insane. They're we really have seven. insane. Mm. But, uh, yeah, they just said no. He'll probably throw something else where we'll need them all. Yeah. We'll be on uh, gas. Oh, you're 19, right. 19, yeah, four first and three second. Wow. 23 wow. points of damage. Do you need me to divide that? or? Nope. Uh, as Grand, what was your name again? Grand the one. Grand. The inevitable. The inevitable. The inevitable. Grand the inevitable shatters the rock monster, covering you all in dust and pebbles. <laughs> uh, you look around. Eh, that wasn't so tough. <laughs> Thanks his axe against his shield. <clears throat> Off in the distance, chance. you hear shale falling. Look Whoa. around. Look around. Your horses are looking at you nonplussed. Uh, the bowling for Columbine failed to hit them. Uh, they are well-trained mounts, steeds of honor for certain. They are currently unharmed, although they are a little bit on the skittish side from all the shale falling along this narrow passage. Uh, the good news is you see a clearing just up ahead as you walk over the remains of the rock lobster and probably one to four of Deidre's teeth. Yeah, I go pick them all up. <laughs> oh, you know what? Later. We'll be putting them back yeah. in soon. Give me an investigation check. If you're all a one, no, you don't. <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> the blood trails have allowed you to go ahead and find them. Hey, I hey. know how to handle teeth spatter, okay? <laughs> hey, Deidre, are you going to put them in with your mom? It's a little what? vile. No, I'm going to put them in my pocket. That's disgusting. <laughs> she's, a, ah. she's, a, she's a wanton whore. <laughs> that may be. Oh, please. She uh, slept so with the first guy she met. <laughs> I mean, nice. Are you okay? <laughs> so do you guys want to go back like, and get your uh, mounts? Or, yeah, get the mounts. Uh, okay. We're gonna yeah. Get the mounts. Uh, back. As you tread across the remains of the guardian, uh, you can't help but feel disenchanted at something. Uh, I'll I'll take insight rolls from everybody. Uh, I'm actually, really good at that. 
Not great at it. Ten. <laughs> Not that, that was, great. Yeah, plus 17. four, man. That's pretty good. I got a 20. <laughs> I got a 17. Uh, 13. Uh, Doroth, Noctia, and Deharius. Uh, <laughs> I, you, you just, there's something amiss. Shale falls in the distance. Uh, the horses seem nonplussed by this. Uh, the path ahead is clear, but uh, I don't know. You three just, there's something not clicking here. Does it feel like we're being watched? It does not. Hmm. It actually feels like you are completely alone, even though you travel with companions. It's a feeling uh, of loneliness. Of this dread. Desolate. Maybe that is it. And again, it's also if we are dealing with the Fae, uh, maybe it's some Fae trick. This is why we're finding that acorn. So, proceed forward. Yep. Yes. You wind into a big C, and there is an opening, uh, a clearing, if you will, devoid of any rocks, any shale. It's just a black, sandy base. There is an exit point and an exit point. One to the left, one to the right. Uh, in between the medium mountain peaks that you saw before looming over you, uh, casting no shadows since it's still noonish, uh, the sun is just beating straight down. And you notice here the black sand is absorbing the heat and your feet are becoming uncomfortably warm if you are wearing metal armor. So, left or right? They didn't give us a map, right? <laughs> uh, once you get into the mountains, there is no map. We this know. is the scar. All right. Might yeah, I, make I chance. right. Might make right. <laughs> Please go right. Sounds go right. good to me. Right. right. Always, it's always right, unless it's left. I just, I'm going to look to. And right is just a couple lefts just in <laughs> succession. So. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Big I'm, square. I'm like, <laughs> I'm looking at Deidre for direction because I tend right. to. Let's go. Right? Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> your group opts to take the right trail and you gather your gear and head down the path. Dodging a few stray rocks and the occasional falling one consumes most of your focus. But you do start to notice a series of holes in the rock face in this 12 foot wide narrow gap. Uh, the holes are spaced sporadically throughout the canyon walls and are in no discernible order. I will take insight. Uh, mm. 19. Wow. Five. Also 19. Doroth? 14. Uh, Deharius and Grand would clearly... This is the home of animals, possibly hive-like, perhaps, I don't know, giant wasp or giant bees. There could be delicious honey hidden away in these catacombs. Or just giant bees. Giant I remember bees. that once. They brought a bunch of those up into the arena. Shale falls on a far mountain. Everyone dies. <laughs> oh, that's way off. Way <laughs> off. You guys are fine. So. Yeah, let's keep um, uh, I don't the care. holes are in both sides. Also, your mounts are extremely skittish at this point. Do they wear any barding by chance? I don't think we've ever really figured that yeah, out. We have fine steed. We don't do animals. <laughs> we enough. just make them. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Uh, proceed forward. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yep. Yep. Just carefully. Still walking the animals? Yeah. Yes. Unless we think we could ride him here. Is it stable enough to ride him? You said it was sand, though. It sounds. It's awesome. sand. It's very unstable. Yeah, you I'm also fine. hear some scratching. Uh, yeah, you know what? For fun, let's do initiative. Oh, right. no. Your definition of fun is not similar to mine. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, not 20. 
Who's that? Who's the nat 20? I, uh, Darius. Gotcha. What? That means all your combat Eight, rolls. Not 18. I have a 9. Uh, I also have an 18. I have a 7. Oh. At advantage, too. I need half of you. Uh, Daharius yeah. with the 20. Uh, there's something coming out of the catacombs on your right. Uh, let's see. Doroth with the 18. Hey, there's something coming out of the holes on the left. Darius, you're first with the 20. What would you like to do? I was kind of expecting this. Uh, so I'm going to, well, I mean, I was <laughs> expecting this to happen. Ambush, you know. Uh, I'm going to leap toward that, uh, Toward that that hole, pull my sword, it, uh, uh, ignite it, and thrust it into the into the hole. So whatever comes out has to come through that. Sure, you know there are multiple holes, right? Yeah. Well, you said I saw something coming out of one of them. I'm going toward that. Correct. One. Yes, that's the one you want. Fair enough. So you're just gonna do this and wait. Yes, I'm basically, uh, I guess, uh, set for charge. I guess. Sure. So, like setting a pike. That's cool. Uh, 18s, two of you, uh, Doroth and De uh, Deidre, or Deirdre, what would you guys like to do? Deharius is on the right. I'm going to cast Bless. Okay. On Grand, Darius, and Nacha. All right. So, and not myself. Doroth? I'm going to get ready on the other side as Doros, because you said they were coming from the left and right? Correct. He's on the right, so I'll be on the left. Good news! I, it is my turn. Uh, Grand, Noctia, Deirdre, you get first look at these creatures as Doroth and Deharius have set their pikes. These are small to medium-sized gray creatures with an unusual tail and kind of feelers on the face. Oh. I, I will, <laughs> of course it is. I will take Arcana checks to see if you guys have dealt with these before. Because I'm so good at that. Have an eight. That's an eleven. And I seriously doubt that. <laughs> what was my highest roll? At eleven. <laughs> you guys have no idea what these are. <laughs> Deharius and Doroth you notice that these creatures stop and reach out with their feelers oh. and touch your sword. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if they hit it. Uh, the others all scamper out one at a time. There are going to be several waves. Uh, Doroth? I don't think so. This is uh, how you get rid of our high armor class, guys. This is 9, uh, 12, I'm assuming, does not hit, correct? Nope. Even though you have piked it, it's not there. The Harrius, uh, 10 plus 3 is only 13. No hit, correct? Nope. Uh, your creatures do not impale themselves. Uh, they have sensed you. Uh, let's see. Grand, Deidre, and Noctia. Your scamper quickly out. Uh, probably smelling your metal. Grand. Two plus three is five. Noctia, 19 plus three is 22. And Deirdre, 17 plus three is 20. 20, right on the number. Ah, right uh, boy. <laughs> there goes all our shit. <laughs> D8 plus one for damage. Oh. Uh, five damage. Thank you, darling. Deirdre, Noctia, DC 11 versus dexterity. Even though you don't know what it is, you really don't want these things touching your blade. Anybody who's next to me, they get the, I have a, my charisma is plus five. So, because we all get saving throw bonuses. Oh, what's, what's the radius on that? 10 feet. I think, I mean, it was only a 12 foot wide cavern. I have so a 21. So that is plus five to what was it? A dex? It's save? plus. It, well, remember, you already get it based on your charisma, too. So if your charisma is less than mine, you get the difference. Oh, no, it's less than yours. Yeah. So what was it? Dex save or check? Save. Save. I have a 21. 
These are rust <laughs> monsters. Yeah. <laughs> Bad news. <laughs> yep. So you got plus five, plus four, nine. I don't know how we don't know about these things. <laughs> I literally, I just bought a Zoma like two weeks ago. I just bought one. I mean, they're uh, nice. Next nice up two. is the nine, Grand. All right. You know, we definitely don't want our swords. A backup weapon? Like wood? Like a wooden Warhammer? Like a wooden Warhammer. Or like Noctia? I mean, I might have a. <laughs> I'm a little tall. For I have a short sword if you want to take it from me. Hmm. That's not magical. You can whack him with that. I don't care. Yeah, no, I, I had a I had a regular battle axe, so I take up my non magic battle axe, and I'm gonna thump these things. Yeah, I forget if they affect magical magic items or not. I can't remember. They do. Uh, <laughs> they do. There's a save. I hate them. Yeah, everything is a save, but with the way you guys have been rolling. <laughs> you guys will be wearing underwear. <laughs> we all Boy. save, and we'll still be badass. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Fourteen and six is nineteen to hit. Oh, yeah, fourteen to hit the rust monsters. Okay, and I am doing uh, twelve points of slashing damage. I'm oh, sorry, uh, eleven points because I got a subtract point. Fair enough. All right. Um, are you done? Uh, one more. Okay. Second swing is a 14 on the dot there you go all right and that is going to be uh six points of slashing image still up all right uh yeah the whole effect was you guys realizing rust monsters are here oh that's great <laughs> uh noctia you are up with your seven uh how many rust monsters are there currently you each have one there is another wave a coming, but currently you each have one. Yeah. Remember the bless spell because it affects your saving throws and attack rolls. Oh yeah, that. that's right. But it, uh, what's your what's the D for that? The D four. D four. Yeah. Um. Uh, well, I can do the other way around. I can cast Bane. Um. Yeah, not a bad option. If it's amazing, they both have Bane. Uh, let's see. The one of me. I'm going to do it first level. The one of me. The one on, I guess, Deirdre, and the one on, uh, no, the one on Darius. God, this is a tough choice because it's like six and one half dozen another. I actually don't have uh, one on me. It's still in the tunnel. Oh, right. All right. So the one on Grand, I can't see you. It's the one on Grand and the one on uh, Deirdre. Deirdre. And what's the modifier? Uh, the save is 14. Isn't that great? On wisdom or? Oh, sorry, uh, charisma. Ooh, lucky you, minus two. Uh, 16 to the one on you, uh, 13 no. to the one on Deidre, and Mi one not natural on your third. Okay, so the one on me saved and the other two did not. And so it was Deidre and who? Uh, gr uh, gone. Grand. Got Mi it. Uh, and you remember, you roll, you take a d4 and you subtract it off your attack rolls. Correct. Uh, top of the order, Nat, or the 20, uh, Deharius, you are up. Uh, you can see it, uh, but it's not coming out. Uh, and now we know what they are and how dangerous they are for us. So I'm going to reach into my backpack, pull out a flask of oil, and throw it down the tunnel and ignite it with my with the flame tongue. Gotcha. As you throw it, are you like throwing it past your blade? Yes. Gotcha. Fair so, enough. Uh, roll a roll a fire. Yeah, roll a simple attack spell, uh, and you can use uh, Dex as your modifier. No, I can't. <laughs> um, what is my Dex? I don't have a Dex, so that's a uh, sixteen. Oh, yeah. Uh, you bounce it right into the uh, entrance to the tunnel and ignite uh, the rust monster. Give me a D6 for damage. Six. Nicely done. Uh, next up, I believe I got two 18s. So back to Doroth and Deirdre. Oh, Deharius, yours screams in pain, angering all of the others. Music in my ears. Doroth or Deidre? 
Go, go, um, go, Joel. I'm going to pull a hand axe. I'm going to move up and attack it. Okay. Because that is the only thing I can <coughs> think to do. Uh, 17 to hit. Oh, yeah. I'm going to smite it because I don't want to deal with them. Yeah, get rid of those smites early, boys. <laughs> what is uh, doing? 16, 24 points of damage. 24? For the first hit. Still Was alive? Still, uh, second attack. Um, it's 15. Yep, that hits. Uh, for seven points of damage. Dead. Uh, that brings it to me. Uh, oh, I, I gotta go. I gotta go. Um, oh, I'm sorry. That's right. I yeah, forgot. This, no, because we're all tied. Um, is there one engaged with me? Uh, yeah, one tried to attack you. So yes, he did. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just each, I'll just attack with my short sword. Each of you are going to have two, except for Doroth. All right. Oh God! All right. So twelve and five is seventeen. Mm-hmm. To Harry, you're going to get attacked by a flaming one. It's going to smell like a burnt marshmallow. And a <laughs> seven, so that misses. Uh, so. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to do a second level smite. Or first level smite, sorry. Yeah, get rid of those smites now. <laughs> 14. Four, yeah, I, well, I want it, 20 damage. <laughs> uh, ooh, so close. I will lose I will lose smites over armor any day. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, rust monster time. Do, 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 do. Uh, so, Nakia, am I rolling a d4 on both of Grons or just one? One of Grons and one on Deidre's. Okay. That's so, Grand, Grand, your first one oh. is a minus four uh, and a two, so five minus four is a one. The second one will attack you. Five uh, plus three is eight, so that's not going to do it. Deidre, you get the D4 for the first one. Minus three, 12. Uh, 12 straight up. I'm assuming that does not hit you. Second one, five plus three. I'm rolling like crap. Uh, Noctia, you have two on you. Yep. Five and an 11, so the best I can do is 14 for you. Miss. And Doroth, two on you. Uh, that's a 16 and a 13, so a 16 and a 19. Dora. Do either one of those? Uh, nope. Okay. And Harrius. Uh, one flaming marshmallow on you and one unflaming. <laughs> uh, 12 and 15, so 18 and 15. I'm assuming neither of those hit. Nope. There you go. Uh, back up to Grand with a nine. All right. Uh, it's going to be... Let's go ahead and... I say smite it. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Uh, the one that's wounded, I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to work him over. Sure. He's pretty uh, beat up. Uh, that might not be three and a mighty. Yeah. I'm going to say a, not assume a nine misses. Yep. 14 is your magic number. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, second attack. Oh, that looks like that's 16 on the die. So that'll hit. Um, for a total of 10 points of damage. Just enough to kill it. Uh, last but certainly not least, Noctia. Uh, I don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it because it's the most effective weapon I have. I'll run through this rest of the thing with a freaking javelin and smites if I have to. Uh, I ignite my sword. And I'm going to strike. I'm going to strike at it uh, for two strikes. Uh, Jesus. Okay, so 13 and 6 is 19, and I don't know if a 12 hit, but 12 is the other one. Nope, 12 is not hit. 12 and 19, so. Come on. Oh, wait. Bless, actually, wait a minute, no way, roll that. That's a four. That's why I did that. 14? 14 hits. Thank you. Welcome. All right, and then so that's two hits. 
Uh, let's see. D8, right? D8. Where's my other D8? There it is. Oh, wow. That, oh, that's all right. That's not so bad. So eight. Uh, eight plus three is 11, 15, 19, 21, 20. Four points of damage. And top of the order, Daharius. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pull uh, my backup longsword and attack with that. I will go after the one that's currently on fire. Is it still on fire to take damage from that? Uh, that one's dead. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Yours is on fire. Uh, Twenty. Yeah, he's pretty beat up. Okay. Quite charred. Okay. Uh, that is a, wow, 15. That is. Oh, awesome. Easy to hit, and you'd think easier to kill, but you guys are having an ordeal. You would think, but I'm going to, I'll smite. So I'll do a first level smite. Yes, smite these things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Just, just tactically, if we have not used half our smites, we're, do we're doing okay. We're about, right. we're about halfway through the time here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, we're doing the four-hour show tonight. Oh, we are. You know that? Oh, every twenty-five percent through our smites. Bring it on! <laughs> Sorry. How'd you do, how'd you do Darius? Thirteen points of damage. Uh, oh yeah. You crush the shit out of that thing uh you have a uh, uh marshmallowy goop on your backup longsword though uh was that your first attack or both attacks that was my first attack okay that one is down that one is down excellent then i switch to the the other one uh 19 on the die mm -hmm. uh yeah i'm gonna smite on this one too so six And 15. 15. Uh, Doroth, Deirdre, you're up. Um, uh, uh, there's another one on my side, if I remember right. Yep. Each one of you have two to deal with. I'm going to smack that one with uh, the hand axe. Uh, 11. Nice swing. He appreciates the fanning of air that you have given him. It and wafts the, away the charcoal smell. Uh, 10. You're really fanning the flames yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, Deirdre, you're up. Oh, gosh. I, you know, boy, when those magic weapons go away, shit gets real. <laughs> magic weapons don't even increase my accuracy. <laughs> yeah, that's really Oh. don't have a bonus. Yeah. It's just the damage. You're up, Deirdre. Wait, I think you're I muted. Think you're muted. <laughs> Can't hear you. Yeah. What's going on, John? <laughs> Uh-oh. takes about... I mean, I guess we didn't have any tech issues at the beginning, so... Isn't that surprising? Up in the middle. You have hey, a button? Because yeah. <coughs> you don't show uh, muted. <laughs> Your head's head or something. Sorry, I wrote that there. Start typing. Yeah, you, you can use chat if you want. I'm on chat. I can translate. I've, I've got, I've got a, the game going, so. Uh, that works. <laughs> it's your computer. It's my computer. <laughs> oh no! Only okay. been typing for forty years. Uh, uh, rust monster time. Uh, only one left on Grand. Uh, Twelve plus three is fifteen. That's gonna miss. Uh, only one on Doroth. 12 plus 3 is 15. That's going to miss. Two on Noctia. Is the Bless still in effect? I think, yeah. Okay. yeah. No, it, it's Bane, but I mean, Bane, Bane does. Sorry. No, Bane, but there's no Bane on mine. They made it. Well, it's only Deirdre's and Grant's. Uh, that's right. I still didn't hit you. 15. 
And three, uh, six isn't going to get you. That's uh, it. De Harius, one of yours is dead, right? Yes. The marshmallow. That's right. Yeah. Seven. Time to switch out dice. Just in time for Deirdre. Oh. Uh, Deirdre is protected by Bane, correct? Noctia, did you, you did Deirdre, right? Yes, I did one of those in Deirdre. Whew. Four plus three minus two, and the second attack. <laughs> uh, eighteen plus three is twenty-one. That's gonna get you. I'm gonna need a uh, DC eleven versus Dex, Deirdre, and you're gonna take. Uh, wow, two freaking hit points. <laughs> okay, good to go. Uh, Grand, you're up. All right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, last last little bugger in front of me, so I'm going to squish him. Uh, yep, yeah, 17 on the die, so that looks like that will hit. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're just going to roll us a little smite here. Just a little smite, finish this guy off. <laughs> we're going to blow our smites. <coughs> Fourteen and three is seventeen points of damage. I'm sorry, what? Fourteen points of damage. Gotcha. Uh, next up, Noctia. All right, so I'm going to take a couple more swipes. <coughs> Gron, did you get both attacks in? Oh, that was only one actually. Okay. I was... <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Sorry. All right. Get the... uh, oh no, I, I whipped in the first one. Then you're that is correct. You're so we're good. We're good. Hang on one sec. No, now. Right now. Now. All right. How about I'm, now? Hey! All right, so on the one I've been... How bad is the one I've been hitting look? Bad. Bad? Yep. Okay. So, it has several lesions and cankerous sores no, on it. All right, I'm not going to do that. All right. But you should I'm probably gonna, still smite it. <laughs> no. I'm going to try not to use all my smites. Uh, 15 and a die, which is a 21. That'll hit. So I'll do this one at a time. Because <laughs> it annoys Frank. Uh, well, that is 4, 10, and 13. Yep. Okay. So then on the other one. Oh, no. So that's in that one. Yeah! <laughs> Roll <laughs> a deep. Is anyone near me? Yeah, everybody is. Remember, 12-foot pass. You guys are uh, butthole to butthole. Then I will protect her with my shield and give no, you... No, no, you're going to have to protect somebody else, probably. Or like, No, and, and that ones are automatic hits, but for oh. half damage. Uh, D10, Grand is 1-2, Doroth 3-4, uh, your 5-6, 7-8 for Deharius, and 9-10 for Deirdre. Oh, God, come on, Deirdre, get this, this, is, this is where the punishment starts. Oh no, that's a one. Who did I hit? It was Grand. a one. Grand. <laughs> so do your sorry. damage and then half it. Oh <laughs> god, I'm so sorry. Uh, yes, your shield is worthless <laughs> on the critical fail. Oh well. Okay, so that's eight. Of course, I have to roll well. Seventeen. That's what's the ten points. That's halved. Are you hitting on me? <laughs> we've agreed. We, we've come to the conclusion. It, 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 it's, this is this not work appropriate. <laughs> Ron, the hokey pokey is harassment. I had an ash accident. Yeah, you hit him in the ash. Uh, <laughs> Deharius, 20, you're up. Okay, uh, going after the one I have left on me. Uh, that is... Probably not going. <laughs> Nothing. A nine. Nice sorry. swing. Sorry, not nine. A um. Let me add properly. Thirteen. Ooh, swing and a miss. <laughs> One more shot. Oh come on. Fourteen. Okay, that is excellent. Uh, seven points. I'm not going to smite on that one. Why not? I mean, this thing could kill you. 
Just saying. He hasn't touched me yet. Bring yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, you, hey, everybody pretend like you can't hear him. <laughs> I can't hear him. Oh, there you yeah. go. Yeah. We can hear you. There you go. Uh, it, it was is a hundred percent Zoom because I oh I I think I don't know. It's like oh you're back. Headphones. But, so the eh, camera's whatever. all screwed up now. No, everything's the okay, same. I- uh, Deirdre and Doroth, you are up. Yeah, you guys are lucky. I'm not making your roll on successful hits. Yeah, you should be. <laughs> I should be, but. You're a nice you, you, you you guys all got rid of your cool weapons, so yeah. well, you, I don't. You, I, you got you got the twenty dollars I sent you, so yeah. <laughs> that's that's why you're safe. That's why I yep. cut your audio. <laughs> <laughs> so I rolled a natural twenty. Uh so damage, damage, and modifier. Damage modifier. So dude, that's dude. way better than the net one I just rolled. Oh, I rolled crap on the damage. All right, I'm gonna smite just because it's so cheap. Good call. <laughs> it's, it's so cheap. It's so good. It's, Literally, I have extra 48 just <laughs> just for what spell level. 15, you know, 21, like... 22, 23, 24 damage. Dead? He's dead. I... All right, I... And then the next one, I hit with a normal attack. Okay. And he takes three. Because <laughs> my strike sucks. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, Dorath, you're up. Uh, I'm going to swing at mine. Smart him. <laughs> After this you hit, your... I have to your... hit. This 20? is a deadly encounter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, does 20 hit? 20, 20 does hit. Uh, for nine damage. And I'm going to hit again. Uh, no. You, uh, yes, you oh. are. I'm sorry. You, he's not dead. Uh, not 20. He'll yeah. be dead now. But go ahead okay. and roll your damage for the... Uh, 13. Oh, fair enough. Uh, yeah, he only had three hit points left. So you overkilled him. <laughs> uh, which is good because now it's up to me. Uh, Grand. D four, uh, nine minus four plus three, so that ain't gonna do it. Second attack. Oh no, there is no second attack. Uh, Noctia. Yeah. Seventeen plus three is dirty twenty. Damn it! Oh yeah, damn it. Uh, Six hit points, and give me the DC eleven. Oh god. Well, that's that's not bad. Hang on. Come on. All right, so that will definitely be an 11 because I have a lot of bonuses here. So that's dex, right? So that's 12, mm-hmm. 19, yeah, 20. So like uh, are you, are they currently baned on you? No. No. Uh, 15 plus they- three is only an 18. That doesn't hit, right? It's not. And last but not least, Deidre. Deidre's the one that's banged on if it's still alive. Uh, 17 plus 3, 20 minus 4, 16. Miss. 16 hits you? Miss. Oh, okay. The audio's out again. <laughs> no, it isn't. Is it? Okay. It, it just I clipped. I thought you said hits, actually. That's the way it came over. <laughs> Grod, perhaps now you may kill yours. Let's give up the old... Go college try. Uh, that is going to be uh, seven and 13, 13, 17 to hit. Yep. For a total of five points of damage on the first. Okay. Two on the, oh, wait, 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 wait. I found the reaction button. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I don't even know I had yeah. it. That's awesome. Yeah, not a, that is a miss. Fair enough. Uh, Noctia, you're up. All right. Two more hits. There's only one on me, so two hits on that. With my flamey... Oh, my God. Are you friggin'... I'm speaking of fire... You're you're using your flaming sword? Yes. Oh, okay. That's fair. I haven't hit it yet, so with the nasty feelers... uh, You know what? I'm going to hit somebody else. Can I just hit myself? I rolled on that one. Roll a d10. That's a 10. Deidre takes the hit. <laughs> but what's, let me let me also resolve the other one here. You're fired. Uh, 14. You're fired. Wait, 14. Oh, 14, I know hits. Yeah, 14 hits. I just threw the die out of the freaking tray. All right, so I'll resolve that first because I want to. Uh, oh, that's, that's pretty good. Eight, 
plus two is 11, plus one is 12, plus uh, well, 12 plus six is 18 points. Okay. That, that's on the baddie. And then, sorry, I am like the worst tonight. Uh, <laughs> Please do max. <laughs> no, it's not max. It's probably about the same as I just rolled, actually. Smite, so, smite, smite. <laughs> no, I'm not using any smites in this battle because I think I can get through this. So that's 10, 15. Yeah, I 15, mean, when you're hitting everybody so, else, you should be. Take, so you take nine. Thanks. Actually, that die rolls pretty well, too. I don't know why it's rolled two ones in a row. The Harris, another round. Clint. The longevity on these things is astonishing. Well, we'll see how that goes on this one. We're not using the prospering, uh, uh, although oops. the flame tongues. Okay, well, <laughs> it's better our damage output. <laughs> I'm risking it. I there am. We go. I'm, I'm risking it. With the blast towards. plus five. That hits. Uh, seven points. Okay. Second attack. That was the second attack. The first <laughs> was under ten, so. Okay, Deidre and Doroth. Uh, Deirdre, uh, you've been hit. Maybe you ought to skip the rust monsters and go after the thing that's doing the most damage to you. But I'm you and Doroth about, are up. I'm thinking about re reforming the Hand of Bane. <laughs> it, it, it's probably all the close quarters combat you guys Could are be, yeah. swinging it left and right and getting in the way. All right. I rolled a one. Hey, it's gotcha. a Hold on, everybody. Oh, every, I won't choose to hit Nacha. Everybody give him the thumbs up. <laughs> uh, roll a D10. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I dare just... touch my towel because it will F up the cameras. I have a six. One, two, three, four. Ah, good news. You hit Nacha. <laughs> I'm going to smite. <laughs> <laughs> At fourth <damage>. level, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have fourth level spell slots, but I don't care. Here's the thing: take, he take five. He can cheat. How much? Awful. Five. You're awful. Uh, okay. And do you have a second attack, Deidre? <laughs> no, I missed on the first one. Nice shooting, Tex. Uh, Doroth, you're up. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm not uh, the hitter, man. I'm not the hitter. I suck at. I have. It. I'm gonna move over to. One on Deirdre, I guess. Just sure. Keep two are down, and I'm going to attack it with my hand axe. Um, 1926 for eight, and then uh, 10 for, yeah. Woodland it down. Oh, who do I got? I got three. Uh, Noctia. Jesus. Three plus three is six. Uh, Deharius, he is he is not protected by Bane, correct? Correct. Twelve plus three is fifteen, Oops. and Deidre is. Hey, hey, Deidre's next to me. Roll at disadvantage. At protection. Really? Where was that last time? Uh, no. Eight plus three is an eleven. Uh. Yeah, I am having no luck in hitting you guys. Uh, Gron, to teach these guys how to hit. Oh, hold on. I just noticed yours is still alive. Hang on. Gron does, well, I don't know if that one still has Bane on it or it not. Does, it doesn't matter. That's a three on the roll. Gron, <laughs> go ahead and kill yours. All right. Uh... This one is getting relegated to the pile. Uh, where's the other guy? There it is. Excellent. Uh, uh, nine. Log, man. <laughs> uh, 15 hits for yes. a total of uh, two, uh, for eight points of damage. Dead on the nose. Awesome. Nice. Noctia, Deharius, and Deidre, or Deirdre have one on them if you want to circle around buttocks to buttocks, make some cool super diehard move and then chop off Noctia's ear. <laughs> I know it's long and pointy, you know. Flip. Makes a good target. Which one do you want to go after, Gron? Uh, I'm going to go after the one on Deirdre. One, 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 one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's 18 on the die. 
12 points of, uh, 12 points of damage. Deirdre, yours is down. Uh, last but not least this round, Nakia. All right. The party hitter. I am not freaking using that question. You've watched us. I switched out the die, and now it'll freaking roll the new one or a one. No, it didn't. And that's going to be two hits because the lowest roll was a 14. So on the die, so that's the lowest roll is a 20. I'm going to light it up. Uh, that's, let's see, 7, 10, uh, 15, 21, 23, plus... Yeah, it ha already had 18 damage to it. Yep. Uh, you now have goo on your flame tongue as well. Top of the order, Deharius. Yours is the only one left. Kind of slacker. Hey, hey bonus action. <laughs> I can't do bonus action. Move action. Can I wipe the goo off quickly? Is it still on fire? Well, uh, sure. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Card laid, card played. Right. <laughs> Use my cloak of protection to... Now it's on fire. <laughs> no, it isn't. Your so blade's on fire. Time. We'll resolve this in a minute. Actually, is it a move action to shut it off? I don't know. Harris, what you got? Got that up. Eight points Go with the first swing. Yep. And damn it. Uh, eight. Oh, wait, 15. Mm -hmm. uh, so nine points for the second. Dead. Sweet. So, Noctia, what are you going to do? You're going to put it out with your hand on the flaming <laughs> sword or your cloak? No, it's a no. Basically, as it's a bonus action, which I technically already used to make that, but that's, I mean, can I just use it as a move action to shut it off? Sure. Okay, that's what I'm doing, and then as soon as I get another action again, I'm wiping it off quickly. It stinks to high heaven. Uh, your horses look at each of you and wonder, <laughs> why do we let these guys hang out with us? Uh, <laughs> the rust monsters did not bother them in the least. Uh, they are picking up their hooves in this very loose sandy base uh, and they certainly do not like the heat as it is probably one o'clock uh, in the afternoon with the sun beating down on you a rock falls in the distance uh, you can continue on the honeycomb thins out on both sides it looks like you've uh, wiped out an entire colony congratulations hope you're happy uh, Pol Pot's uh, or you can continue forward if you want. I'm going to lay on hands before we go anywhere because I'm, I'm, I'm all messed up. Cut yourself. <laughs> you, get that, you, get that, you get that beaten up? Yeah. I do think I'm the only person who's taking damage. <laughs> do we want to do we want to rest? It looks like a bad place. Not a well, we killed there. everything here, so it's probably not that bad a place. Another rock burning, falls um, in the distance. <laughs> literal, literal burning, burning desert with you know <clears throat> an avalanche just a breath so away. Fall on us. He's literally getting ready for rocks fall. Everybody dies. I, I think so. I had a game. I think so. He's, no, we'll keep moving. Uh, After he lays on hands, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm when we, I occasionally like check the cliffs whenever I hear a rock just to see if maybe something's tossing stuff down at us. No, uh, it, it is your opinion that very few things could hang on to these cliffs as they are mm. very loose shale. So the proximity of hill giants or something of that ilk is probably not I was, possible. I was expecting something a bit more mischievous in Fae since we are in the land of Fae, but... You mean like <laughs> flying kobolds if you would have gone uh, down the other side? <laughs> <laughs> Miss flying kobolds? I'm disappointed. That would have been more... That oh. would have been... Dropping sharp shale down on that you. That would have really sucked. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys all have missile weapons, right? Oh, um, I have. Uh, yeah. I, ha I have. I have cantrips. I haven't even used yet, so I'm good. There, there was a big fat hairy one that yelled Five, "dive" a lot. <laughs> Commander <laughs> blessing. Okay. Uh, do you guys want you've you've touched yourself and you feel yep. good about it? Uh, <laughs> Do you want to <laughs> grab your mounts and continue on? <laughs> the tweaking. Let's. Tune in Tokyo. 
<laughs> I checked. My head is not up my ass because my thumb fit entirely up there. <laughs> I like that. I'm still with that. That's good. <laughs> so okay. move forward. Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you, can, you can always go yeah. back around and take the other path. Oh, man, I want to fight the kobolds now. Uh, like, let's or back. XP, yeah. He's Shale like, falls in the distance. <laughs> like five javelins. Which, by the way, Shale is a guy who just keeps falling over. And, you know, that's the name of the storm giant. Yeah, he's a high level monk. He just falls like fifty feet. Doesn't make a difference. And he just climbs back up, falls again. But he is a drunken master. Nice. Uh, as you continue your uh, narrow path through, uh, more shale slides down, more rocks slide down. Everybody, give me uh, investigation to see if you can investigate this area and figure this out. That one. Uh, your. The hooves of your horse keep going down into that sand. Okay. Out of 11. You should Fighting investigate now. someone else. <laughs> Seven. You realize Seven. that we're the trouble problem here? 17. And yeah. Deirdre? 14. Uh, only Noctia realizes that the uh, propensity for damage is increasing astronomically. Uh, the deeper you go into this scar uh the more shale falls the pathway is littered with it uh, and noctia will probably suggest expeditious retreat or expeditious forward out of this area forward we can, can we ride the horses we don't go back we you can try uh it, it is there's a lot of shale here it's uncertain footing uh but uh, it will get you out of here a whole lot faster. Yeah, let's just double time it. All right. All right you try. Mounting, up. Mounting or double timing running? Uh, running. Running? Yeah. Right. I, I think I might fall off my horse. Uh, first off, uh, straight up D20 from all of you. Make sure that none of you trip over sh shale with a one. That is not a one. Seven. Nope. Ten. Great, but it's not a one. 17. Uh, some of you are having issues with it. Uh, more rocks are skittering down both sides. Uh, because you are double timing it, I will have you each roll DC 15 versus acrobatics as the mountain starts to cascade down. Sharp, oh, jagged great. rocks fall. I have a 17, so 16. Nine. Four. You know what? <laughs> Acrobatics is not our strong suit. Nine. Really? <laughs> really? What? I have it. It's, really it's, it's a favorite skill for me. Uh, I have a plus two. One Athletics for I me. Ah, uh, wow. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, you guys are bad. <laughs> I mean, it was a saving throw would be completely different. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, only seven hit points of damage and you are... Uh, receiving miscellaneous cuts and scrapes. Uh, your horses each take seven hit points of damage as well and are pissed uh, that you led them down in here. The good news is uh, just as you get out of the choke point, man, that thing just drops. I mean, you <laughs> would have been screwed if you had not been double timing it. Uh, you finally get around the medium peaks and you notice or can assume that maybe the two trails converge, like parentheses, uh, and there before you is a gray sand with a three foot wide line of white sand and kind of glittering air. Uh, beyond it, uh, shaking the dust from your gear, you head into the arrow-shaped plain as the middle mountains melt away. The strange landscape looks like you envisioned the moon would appear. Uh, the mountain chain seems to wrap around a set of pillars on the north face of the peaks just beyond the glittering light. Uh, as you cross the pockmarked land, you get a glimpse of the pillars, uh, and they look like lions. Uh, I'm not going to sing the song, but this is the never-ending story creature. <clears throat> As you approach, anybody want to touch the sprinkles? I don't think no. Not really? Uh, the two lions notice your hesitation 
and point out uh, hey. that you must answer a question to continue forward. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> Are you ready? <laughs> Who's ready. got it riddles, man? Because I'm not so sure. Lord Hamford rides his trusty steed Valiant out of the gates of Cathaway, heading towards his winter palace in the Southlands. Valiant can travel seven miles per hour over the unforgiving terrain, and the destination is 24 miles away. Lady Pomona leaves the Winter Palace at the same time, but her <laughs> steed, Cordoba, can only travel six miles on rough terrain. How long will each be on the road before they cross paths. It's the two trains leaving from Chicago. Look, I'm having now a flashback to grade school. And I, <laughs> yeah. I graduated college. So I, I am, didn't I'm have to look at math. Down. I'm going to track you down. I'm going to track you down. Yeah. You know, I was told that you were great warriors. And we mother, great warriors. mother nature is a bitch and so is intelligence. First off, I'll give you guys an intelligence check to see if your PC is smart enough to figure this one out. Oh, if, if not, I will then allow you to ponder slowly or to do the math. Yeah, yes. The math. The we'll math be here so much of this being a two hour scenario. So uh, I was educated in um, of the fighting arena. Uh, yes. They didn't have maps. You don't get to roll. <laughs> uh, um, so there are seven, there are seven uh, gladiators that are walking down a whole corridor, and there's six gladiators walking down another corridor. How many of them die? Uh, all of them, because I killed them. <laughs> Here you go, exactly. <laughs> I, have, I have a four. I, I'm, I'm pretty much done. Six. <laughs> yeah, I got nine. Who needs a power party? <laughs> oh, no. Do you have a natural 20? <laughs> Nat one. Oh. <laughs> Gron says, huh? Oh? <laughs> oh? <laughs> hmm? He's just... He should just yeah. know the wrong answer. <laughs> huh, yeah. <laughs> Potato. <laughs> it's it's 30 minutes and like 20 minutes of note taking and calculation to come up with the wrong answer. <laughs> come on, guys. God, I did not expect to have to do this. Uh, this is an ugly number, actually. Yeah, it, it is. is. I have to break out the calculator. Can't do it by, by writing Bob, it. Bob's a math person. You like the math. I am, which is why uh, it's an ugly number. You're a math person. Yeah. I, I'm already aware that it's going to be some long decimal that doesn't end. You can round it. It's going to take you apparently four hours to figure it out as you write in the sand, constantly scratching it out as grand continually walks across your calculations trying to figure out a way to fight the glittering wall. Uh, Everybody go ahead and re-roll your intelligence check. An hour and 48 minutes. There we go. <laughs> After four long hours of uh, ciphering, as Jethro Bodine would say, uh, the lion... <laughs> drops the uh, glittering light and you are allowed to pass. Uh, you can go down a row of columns uh, into a uh, colonnade carved out of the rock of the main mountain. Cool. Okay. Who wants to walk in between the lady statues? I'll move forward. I, I answered the question, so I'll move forward. I'll I'll move up with you. <clears throat> are you leaving your horses behind here or are you taking them with you? Uh, this is a tunnel. It's actually uh, like Roman ruins, just columns leading right up to a colonnade into the mountain. Okay. Which then. seems to be smoking. Nice. Then I will bring the horse. Okay. Everybody else bring in their horse? Yep. Yeah. Sure. Noctia De Deharius, uh, you pass by and you can't help but notice, as well as Doroth, these damn eyes are following you. So all three of you 
that made your check earlier. Uh, there's something wrong. Uh, opposingly, Grand and Deirdre are just happy as two pigs in crap because Grand potato uh, doesn't <laughs> care. <laughs> Deirdre uh, didn't have to fight the Sphinx. So she's that's, happy. <laughs> that's true. Uh, you could have at any time plunged in through the strange glitter, probably having no effect. It would be fun. Oh, uh, cool. Noctia and Deharius, uh, you reach the colonnade and you peer inside into darkness. Uh, can anybody, anybody got dark vision besides the elf? <clears throat> or I have dark vision. I have dark vision. So. Tieflings have dark, dark vision. Dora. Dark learns do not. And Deharius? I don't believe so. So you two are blind as a bat. Noctia, you can look in. Uh, it appears as though this is a caldera. Uh, oh, that is not a volcano. Kind of, that it, well, it's it's a volcano, but the base, the caldera, appears to be solid surface. Uh, your dark, vision, your dark vision is not going to encompass everything. Uh, this is a very, it's a wide mountain. It was an old volcano. It's got a stone base now. Uh, and your dark vision will not spot anything except you and Deharius will see a very faint orange glow on the far side. Uh, appears to be coming from a different cave, maybe? Something possibly, uh, but yes, uh, Doroth and Harius, the light is not going to be good enough for you to see, so you're going to have to light up your swords in order to see, or a torch. And you're bringing no. your horses, correct? Um, into mm. mountain? No. Uh, yeah, into this might volcano. be this. This might be. Time I mean, it cooks them. They exactly. it already cooks them. <laughs> cooks them. Wow. Kind of, yeah. I, I, I'm just more thinking they're just gonna get in the way now. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't really want charging on fire horses at me. Yeah, exactly. so, so you opt not to get, enter Mount Microwave with your <laughs> uh, extra rations uh, and lash them to the woman statues, which, Jesus, they're creepy. They're just really creepy, except to Grand and uh, Deirdre, who I think they're really nice. They look normal. Your, your mother, potato. No. Oh, no, I'm hungry. There was nothing behind her eyes. She was an idiot. Well, so there you go. You guys lash your horses to the the pillars uh, and head on in. Where nothing, yeah. nothing possibly could go wrong. So, Everything's fine. By the way, I didn't see anything like anything moving in there, right? Nope, not a thing. Uh, you can tell it's pretty wide though, because that orange is on the very far side, and uh, you can actually feel the heat. Uh, but the light, the light looks like that. <laughs> I'm gonna lay on hands one more time just to get me to my normal hit points. Thank you, everyone. So, guys, uh, if, anybody has, if anybody wants, I didn't see anything in there, so you're probably safe if we want to light a torch or your swords or whatever, or cast light. I don't know if any of us has that. But. Just lighting the torch. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna smash whatever's in here anyways. Just bring the swords out. They cast, That's they, true. They get like a thirty foot range of light. They're, it's very. Yeah, I think it's thirty feet of bright light. Thirty feet yeah. of dim. All right, fine. Feet. I throw my sword. And forty feet. Light. Forty feet. Oh, it's yeah. forty. Yeah. Ooh, these torches. Okay, so you're going in? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why we're here. Are we beelining it to the light, or are we going around? Mm. Why don't we try going around? What, yeah. you want sneaky? Hold it, oh. you're the idiot of the group. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just we're bad math. straight there. No, 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 he's stupid. <laughs> Whatever he says is dumb, we're going straight there. That's right. He is our tactician. <laughs> Oi. Okay. He's our tactician. Do you want to go around left? Or do you want to go around right? We know the answer. It's always Mike straight through. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mike makes right, right? right? Yeah, Mike makes, Mike makes right. right. We go right. We go right. No rocks are heard falling, and what? only a strange hissing noise 
from that the might, orange illumination. That might uh, be worse. Are, are you guys going single file or two by two? Single file. Yeah, that's what you guys want. Everybody roll straight up D20 for me, please. No. Derek, you can lead if you want. Uh, seven. Eight. Oh. Nineteen. Sixteen. None of you come close enough to break the silica, which is a good thing. Uh, about ten minutes of roundabout going along, uh, you are very close. The heat is extraordinary. Uh Everybody go ahead and make a con save. Uh, saves. So I'm resistant to heat uh, fire damage. Does you do not have benefit? to roll. Yeah. Awesome. They are also resistant to fire. So that is... So that's your team. Um, that's right. We have a plus five because we're near you, Deed. You're right. Or plus... You are plus... Whatever what are the, the difference? Is? What's your charisma? Oh, right. So it's yeah, a plus it's, two. It's the difference between your charisma and my charisma. So I'm plus five okay, on charisma. So... That's a 17. Okay. I've an 18. Okay. Grand? Uh, I have a 17 as well. You guys are all going to be fine. Deharius, since you are a tiefling, this is like home, man. Yeah, this feels this good. Home. This is awesome. Woo! I can finally <laughs> breathe again. Uh, let's see. Uh, as you get to the orange area, who is leading the pack here? Dad, Dad. You peek around the corner, do the sneaky peek, and you notice a couple of things. One, the orange glow is from a river of lava. Two, there are two stone bridges, possibly obsidian. And three, you all know what the thing on the uh, player's handbook looks like. <laughs> that is over on the far side holding a lit brazier. Which player's handbook? Which version? The, the real, real one. <laughs> the original one? The real player's handbook. The one that Hackmaster ripped off for theirs? Yeah. That so the, yeah. Oh, that's the one. That's it's what you one. see. Yeah. 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 No. We Lovely. all know which one it was. Ah, uh, freaking awesome. Uh, from this location, that is all you see. Uh, P.S., uh, you can clearly see shit in here because that lava is hot. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, anything we fight in here is probably going to be resistant to our flame time. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, that's <laughs> weird. <laughs> Ron quietly sharpens his axe. It's it's not it's not resistant to our smite damage, so that's okay. Yeah, all that's all three of them that are left. <laughs> yeah, but there's there's five yeah. of us. I actually have uh, all but one, so I have six left. So we got yeah, I think I still got three left. I have three. So I got five. Do you wish to enter the inner sanctum? Yes. Yeah. So. Nowhere else to go. Deharius, as you uh, break the entry point, you notice that. Is it is it broken bones around the statue? Uh, yeah, it's probably fine. Uh, there is an obsidian bridge on the left. There is an obsidian bridge on the right. Well, I assume we're, we're approaching from the right, so we'll take the right bridge. It goes, you enter the inner sanctum, and the bridges are over here. Oh, I got you. Okay. Uh, let's go to the right. We're nothing but predictable. We must that, be predictable. That's We're fine. That's are you works. are you following or splitting? Following. Stay we stay together. Okay. Uh, as each of you look around, you can feel the heat radiating out of this lava river. Uh, it's pretty intense, and it seems to come through some kind of opening uh, in the wall. And it seems to exit out of the wall. It's almost as though uh, these are nested uh, gaps. And what you were in isn't the true volcano. And this whole thing is just a nest of volcanoes. You also notice there ain't shit here, but that giant statue with the golden eyes. Man, safe. Unguarded, <laughs> completely safe. Completely. Yeah, bullshit. Well, it's uh, not what we're looking for, is it? It's a distraction. Yeah. 
focus on the task at hand, acorn time. Yeah, we don't acorn. see. Well, it's like we don't see an acorn in one of the eyes, do we? Mm -mm. Actually, I have. Uh, I'm going to cast locate object. Sure. Yeah. Mm. Ah. Acorn. Uh, it appears to be inside the statue. Job bedded in it. We just have to desecrate the statue. Okay. As you reach the right obsidian bridge, you notice there are. <laughs> It's weird because there's like a semicircle of glowing sigils that protect that particular area across the bridge. It's hey, almost like they pulse. Anybody know what to make of those? Probably healing. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. It's not potato this time. Not I'm potato. pretty sure about that. It is not potato. Is any of us check. proficient in thieves' tools? Did anybody take that? Uh, no. Okay. No. Nope. Wondering. That'd be, no, that'd be not me. I don't know about. I can make. Else. I can weave a basket. That's what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> I can play uh some dragon chess. <laughs> play often. What do I for tool? I do, do I, I don't even... know what you guys are worried about. There's nobody here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so of I course not. Have to... This we've done this before. We just have to deal with it. Oh. Yep. Do we just set it off? Well, let me let me be there. I need to be near there because it's really good if I'm there, right? Because I'm pretty protective against magical stuff. So let's just go okay. look at it and see what we can figure out. That's okay. Cross cross the bridge. Yep. Cross the sigils. I have Ooh. no choice. I, I we we got we got to break it. Break it to figure out what happens. As you cross the sigils, give me an insight check. Uh, I have a 15. Insight is intelligence, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I have a 19. I'm actually trained in it. You feel a pit in your stomach. Uh, you feel dread, and you feel as though feel like I'm at home. you cannot communicate with Bane in this area. Ooh. Uh... All right. But there's nobody here. Just some old broken bones. All right. So it's warded. Interesting. All right. Start taking the bones and chucking them in the lava. <laughs> J E L L O. <laughs> sure. Why not? You pass over the sigils, you feel the pit in your stomach. Hmm. Dead silence over here. Yep. I know. I'm trying to debate whether or not maybe a couple of us should stay outside of the sigils. And I mean, I guess I'm going to stay Stick outside of the, for Stick now. Together. No, I'm Don't not going to. I'm not. Gonna, I'm going to see how far you get. I'm not letting you out of ice. Of ice. Should we I'll, try to break I move them? Fast too. I move for 35, so I do move a little faster. The sigils are etched or engraved into the stone. Hmm. Is there hmm, anybody have any acid or anything we could possibly wreck them with? I say poop on them. <laughs> defile it. <laughs> oh, well, there's other ways to defile That's it. That's another D word. It's defecate. That's right. <laughs> defecate them. Um, yeah, let's just uh, let's just keep let's just move in. Like right. we can't control the situation. Nope. We might as well put our spin on it. Right. It's yep, how we work. Perfect. Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sometimes. Yeah. Deirdre, you get I, over it. There's nothing going on here. Okay. Wow. Well, I think we have to get inside the the thing. So let's go look at the statue and try Actually, to before it. before we cross, can I uh, throw on a protection of uh, evil and good on myself? You can try. I do. Yeah, you don't feel any better. <laughs> <laughs> You got this pit in your stomach that's like, oh, this it's probably the potato. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I ate a bad potato here. Uh, Remember, you are in an inner sanctum of something that holds at least a minor artifact. Yeah. Mm. This is uh, fun, fun stuff. Oh, good. Right, well, someone had to test it. Keep moving. Yep. Over. Uh, okay, uh, 
bones and a statue holding the flame and brazier. Oh okay, God. I was serious brazier about lit. bones into the lava. Okay. Every once in a while, bloop. I just don't want them forming. If I can prevent them from coming together to make something we have to fight. Oh, no, that seems like a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the uh, Deharius, a.k.a. Uh, Hazel the Maid, cleans up the bones. Uh, they do not animate. They dissolve immediately upon touching the lava. Uh, and now you've decided you're going to see how far you can fling them because now you're just bored. <laughs> okay. Oh, I still want uh, to Damn it. So it looks like maybe some kind of offering situation. Is it like you got to give it something into the flame? Maybe the bones? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he wants. He said he wants to kill both my characters each week. So yeah. me too. <laughs> <laughs> you said uh, any 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 clues in and around the base? The, ba the brazier is just a big old thing holding the brazier. Mm -hmm. What's inside the brazier? Three stones. Is it, is the brazier lit? Mm -hmm. The oh, stones yeah, so are on fire for on some fire. reason. Okay. okay. Three burning stones. Hmm. And still. Not a peep is heard. Nobody's around. There's no other exit points other than the obsidian bridges. God, this is tough. This is a this is a tough. Are they one. different the, types of stones? Are good. they? They're obsidian arches. No, the the, the stones in the brazier. Oh, do you want to pull them out and look? I'm gonna grab one. Yeah, I'm resistant to fire. I'll I'll, just, I'll take a quick. Even your resistance to fire. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Yep. Uh, it, they appear to be stones, uh, maybe with three markings across, maybe two, maybe okay. one. One might say Indy Jones. You aren't sure, but they <laughs> appear to be just three standard rocks that, for some reason, are on fire. And so I put, when you pull burn. them out, are they, are they still on fire? When you pull them out, mm -hmm. all right. So I, I'm going to get one out of there and at least drop it on the ground. Like whoa, okay. Potato, potato. Oh uh, no, thanks. <laughs> Hey, wait, they're like supernaturally hot. Oh, they're, they're what? They're, they're on fire. Well, I'm wondering Don't if we can. Could... I'd say that's. Hmm. I almost wonder if we can. Could... I'm still thinking about screwing up the runes and trying to drop the ward. I wonder if we could. Go for it. I mean, if it's that hot. Wait, 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 wait. Hot potato it over to the runes. The Harrius, you have now managed to actually fling it as far as humanly or as far as tieflingly possible, <laughs> and you hit the far end and it pops in. Bloop. And now you're really bored because you've exhausted your options. You are the strongest person in this room. <laughs> oh, that's not true. That's why we're a team. Do we, I said, it's the way we could probably carry that stone. Or you something. Said something about the eyes in the statue that they're gemstones. They're, they're gemstones, right? Um, all right. Well, if we remove them, that's an idea. Or they don't look oh, similar to the stones in the brazier, do they? Okay. They are faceted gemstones, just like on the cover. Hmm. All right. Well, let, let, I guess try and climb up and pop one out just to see what happens. I'll need an acrobatics <laughs> check to get up on the shoulder. Okay. I'll give him a I'll give him a lift. See if it give him. See if I can assist him. See, that would be athletics. So eighteen. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, uh, you managed to get up onto the stone. You grab a hold of its goblinoid ear, um, and it doesn't look fey at all for some reason. Uh, but you're hanging on. You're looking. You can kind of see your reflection in the gemstones. Uh, as well as the flickering from the two stones left in the bla brazier. Uh, you see no bones. They're all gone. You got them all. Oh, well, I mean, I was looking for the, uh, at, at the gem to try and pop the gem out. Sure. Uh, what are you going to use? Uh, dagger. Cool. Uh, you pop your dagger in and you hear a rumble. 
uh, Grand, Doroth, Noctia, and Deirdre, you also hear the rumble. And the brazier falls, skittering across right to the edge of the lava. The stones roll in different direction. Everybody roll initiative. Good job, Bob. Uh, yeah, no, that's good. No, no, I that. get, just get to the point. That's the, yep. the, the only thing. Oh, no, thank you, Bob. Uh, seven. Uh, oh, wait, advantage. Yeah, that was with the advantage. I, I rolled a one from my first roll, and then I rolled an 11. So I'm going to kick the shit out of you guys. Gron? Uh, five. So I have five, seven, 11, 15, and 13. I had an 18. <laughs> yeah. The sacred statue comes to life. Uh, first, Deharius, give me a dex check to see if you can hang on for yeah. your life. Because <laughs> we're good oh, at that. 20! Nice. You're, you're hanging on. You're maybe trying to throttle the creature. Uh, but it is not going to do that. And it is going to slam. Five. One, two, three, four. Hello, Noctia. <laughs> oh, that is a shit roll. Uh, 18. Nope. Uh, it reaches Absolutely. out with its what appears to be a brass <laughs> hand uh, and misses. So we'll start with the 15, the Harius. Uh, the statue is come to life. Uh, okay. Then I, what I want to do is, is I, well, hanging on with one hand. Pull my long sword, strike, but jump to the ground while I'm doing it. Okay. So slice my uh, uh, sword down the length of this thing as I fall. 19 is your magic number. <clears throat> oh, God. Jump okay. check? What? For the jump check? Uh, no, to hit it. Oh, to hit. Oh, yeah. Out. yeah we'll, we'll do that first, then we'll do your jump check. Okay. Pretty thick. Uh, oh, I got a 20. A dirty 20. Very good. And then, oh, damage will be seven. Okay. Uh, now your jump check. Uh, acrobatics. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna burn a um, a smite. Okay. Because this is the time to do it. Yep. It works, right? Another eleven points. You think it works? <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. It causes a fissure in the uh, creature. Uh, now your jump check is an acrobatics. Yep. Uh, oh, acrobatics, not athletics? Correct. Okay, then 15. <coughs> oh, sorry, 15. 15 was good enough. Uh, you managed to land solidly on your feet. Uh, <coughs> next up, 13. Uh, Deirdre. I will cast Bless on everybody else in the group. So okay. second level spell slot. Uh, 11. Noctia. Um... Hang on. I'll, I'll look for that later. Uh, I want to do my... What the hell is it? Sorry. Looking it up, looking it up. Um, it's my channel, Divinity. It is... I'm doing Vow of Emony. Choose a bonus action. You could choose a creature in 10 feet and gain advantage in attack rolls for one minute or until it drops to zero, falls unconscious. So I am doing that on it as a bonus action. And shit. Um, I want to sort of, I don't know. You said, I feel like I've, oh, well, does it, do I feel like that worked? Do I feel like I'm, because there's the whole, you know, we feel like we lost our connection. Go ahead and roll insight. All right. Otherwise, I mean, I guess if it doesn't, Oh, um, that's only an eight. You are positive that worked. Carol doesn't think that worked. <laughs> um, all right, but because I rolled that, I'm going to try to hit it. One attack, dum dum. Which uh, weapon are you going to use? I'll use my magic sword. Okay. I'm not going to have it be lit. I don't have the action to, to light it right now, so... Uh, well, that's, um, well, that will hit it. That's a 21. And I will, hmm, I will, I hate doing this. 
Well, I don't know. Did I? Well, that's the thing. Do I actually get advantage with that rule? No. Yes. All right. So I do not feel stronger against it. To Harrius, you were attacking it with a magical weapon, correct? Yeah, my uh, flame tongue. Okay. Go ahead, Noctia. All right. I am attacking with mine, too. I just don't have a lit up. Uh, what the hell is it? It's a D8 plus three. What the hell is Hey, when I can't find my dice. All right. So that is uh, nine points. And let's see. I get a move still, right? Uh, I know it may take an attack of opportunity. Um, I'm going to head towards the edge of the runes. Sure. So It'll take it's attack of opportunity. Go ahead. Not 20. No shit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to help you get to those runes by punching you in the face. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, wow. How many hit points do you have? <laughs> I have 42. You are in deep shit trouble. <laughs> yeah, what am I not, What did you do? Uh, 6d12 plus yeah. 4. I got you. Don't worry. I'm not. No, I'm not worried. Oh, wait. No, I can't because I got no power. We got no power. Sorry, I, I don't got you. Yes. you have, we have healing potions. Uh, I am now, now I'm annoyed. 29 hit points of damage. I rolled low. I'm not down. I'm not, yeah. So Doroth, you're up. As can, I, can I ask a quick question? Is sure. the channel divinity not working? It is not. Is Are the spells working? What spells? I cast Bless, which is a paladin spell. Uh, as far as you know, it does. Okay. <coughs> but I have spells that are not related to Bane. Right? I have uh, those, those, those will, those will okay. be fine. No problem. Right. The, the Bless will work. And those not associated will work. Uh, the channel divinities. Yep, yep, totally yep. fine. Yeah, that's a good uh, one. It won't slow us down because we got, the, got a lot of good abilities. Um, yeah. Doroth, want, you watch Noctia head towards the lava. You're up. Frank, yep. Frank, spent speaking is free. I'm going to be like, maybe we can can we maybe we should try to tank this thing to the edge of the rooms. Hey, you've done three things, <laughs> and you're missing <laughs> teeth. You and DeHarius both have, talk like uh, Eric called Justice Man. Go ahead, Nora. Uh, I mean, hold up, I have to see what action this is. Yeah, I will warn you guys in advance. This thing does a shit ton of damage. Uh, what are we? What type of creature do we know? It looks like an Afree. But it okay. acts like a statue. Oh, okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go up and uh, smack it with my unlit flame tongue. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Fifteen for twelve. Nineteen. So, um, Nineteen to hit. Nineteen to hit. Um, that one. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not near there anymore. D ten. <laughs> Um, Joel, if you hit me, you're homeless. Uh, you're homeless after this. Deidre. <laughs> you're homeless. Get a, pack your shit and get out, Joel. <laughs> and, uh, is it half damage? Yes. Please uh, don't so smote him. <laughs> ten and five. So ten. So Round five. down. Yeah. Yep. Five damage to Deidre. Uh, that was the to... seven. And last but not least, Grand Potato. Right. <sighs> I'm just gonna go up. The uh, so I'm, I'm still a little fuzzy that so that bless did or did not work. It appears as though it has worked. Okay, then I get the bless because yeah, add, add those dice if it does. <laughs> All right, uh, I am going to thwack him. Actually, how? Oh wait, I don't want to do that because it's the the thing we're looking for is inside of it. Okay, I'm just gonna thwack it. I think you should push it into the lava, like Noctia said. Burn the no. Acorn. no, I said break, bring it out by the rooms. All right. Uh, does a you said nineteen? Nineteen is AC. Uh huh. Um, and I'm going to twelve points of damage. Nicely done. Second attack. Uh, no. Seven twenty-one blackjack. 
Uh, you know, we will go ahead and we'll throw a, my last tiny smite on it. I'm going to try. If does it work? I'll, I'll give you guys the smites because you're going to need it. <laughs> okay, good. I won't uh, give you channel divinity shit, but I'll give you the smite. Totally fine. That's uh, fine. It's fair. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll take it. 16 points of damage. Chopping it down. Top of the order. Moi. Uh, I get two attacks, which makes me hideously dangerous. Uh, first one is a seven. Daharius. And the other is a three. Doroth. Uh, plus eight to my rolls. Daharius first. Uh, 15 plus eight is 23. I will spend a point of luck. I have Bane's favor. Okay. You think? So it gives you disadvantage. Nice. That is a 16 on the die. <laughs> so, uh, Doroth. Uh, that is an 18 plus 8. That is a 26. Do you want to spend a point of luck if you have it? Or? I don't have a point of luck, so. I think I'm the only one that does. Gentlemen, this is where it hurts. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, you got lucky. Uh, 24 hit points to both of you. What type of damage? Bludgeoning. Okay. So if you're resistant to that, you are indeed lucky. Uh, 15, Deharius, uh, you have lost more teeth than you have in your entire career as <laughs> you're getting punched out. Lost more oh, this is nothing. he has in his face. <laughs> You've lost 33 teeth this round. You aren't even sure where the other one came from. <laughs> Might have been knocked to you, for God's sake. I, I, have you more, I, think, I, carry I think you just convert hit points into teeth. I think it's fair. <laughs> Those weren't bones. Those were giant's teeth you were throwing into the lava. Like level 20, 100 teeth. <laughs> and yeah. Okay. Uh, first attack, then. Swinging at it. I'm using my lit flame tongue because I need to see. Walk, no. I can light the lava. You, you can see, yeah. The lava, the lava lights you up. Still doing it because it's Wait, cool. You're a tiefling. You have dark vision. They do? I was looking at it. I wasn't. I didn't think that I did. Uh, tieflings totally have dark vision. Dark vision yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, oh, a 25 to hit. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, and I'm sp spending a second level uh, smite. Smite. You still got those left? Figured you yes. used them all. <laughs> 20. Nice. Well, somebody came to party. You got another attack, or is that it? Yep. And uh, that is a 17, so that won't hit. That misses. Uh, next up is the 13, uh, Deirdre. Okay, guys, I'm going to hold. I'm going to hold back. I'm going to use Ray of Frost on him because uh, I am a uh, Levistus Tiefling. Uh, I miss. I only miss by one, but I miss. So I rolled a 10. So Fair enough. So, uh, bring me the 11, Noctia. Remember the bless, right. guys. Remember the bless. So with the 35 move, how did I get to the rune? I, I was not sure how far away the runes were from him. You took uh, like three Jesse Owens step and he hit you in the back of the skull, sending you right to the edge of the ruins. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to, um, if I'm, well said, if I'm over the line, then I can just uh, lay in hands. You have to get on the bridge. Oh, okay. Oh, it, it, runs, it runs a semicircle along the edge, but Is you're right there at the bridge. I'm at 13. All right, so I, I, I walk over that. I'm going to lay on hand, so I will, let's see, how many points do I, can I dump in myself here? 40. 40? Mm -hmm. I don't think I need to dump that many. Well, yeah, maybe I will. I have healing spells. You can, that you can do the point, you know, up to as many points as you want, so. Yeah, I know. Nope, I think I'm going to do them all. Hint, 10 o'clock. This is the big bad guy. Yeah, I know it's a big bad guy. And then I don't think I think yeah, I could I could try channel divinity again, but I don't think mm, yeah, I don't, don't think it'll don't, stay anyways. Uh I will don't focus on it, right? Right. right. Yeah. Uh that's unfortunate. 
though, because if having advantage on attacks would have been lovely. Uh, so I did a move, I did an action, I get a bonus. What do I got for bonus actions? I don't for freaking clue. Uh, Maybe hunt down your missing teeth. No. Do you have Hunter's Mark? I, I do. Have oh, that's true. I do have Hunter's Mark. Maybe I'll, yeah, why not? I will cast Hunter's Mark on it. Doroth, you're up. I'm going to swing at it. I don't think Bane will do shit. Um, that's a mess. Bane might be helpful. Uh, it's going to slow his attack rolls down. And that's Not a, a bad thing. 14 and 14 both mess. So. Did you uh, get your bless, Joel? Uh, yep. Okay, just making sure. I rolled a 3 and a 5. Grand. Things right. look grim. <laughs> oh, that's how I like it. Yeah. That's a specialty. I <laughs> oh, it's now it's Grand's time to shine. Do it. Come on, Grand. I'm just going to settle right up to it and I'm strike it down. <coughs> ah, that's what I look like to see. Uh, 18 and 7 is 25 to hit. That hits. Um. And we will spend the big smite. A big smite. Okay. Ten, sixteen, sixteen, and six is twenty-two. Nicely done. And second attack. Uh, 15 and six, 21 blackjack and once again we'll, we'll just keep we'll keep the smite train rolling this is what I do uh, so that is 6 and 5 is 11 11 and 1 is 12 12 and uh, 18 points of damage on the second attack Nicely done. Uh, the statue shatters, causing dust to rise in a, a lustrous cloud. Uh, you see pieces of it over there, pieces of it over there. Everything's groovy. Oh, Everybody God. sees this. And then the dust starts to settle. And a dark form oh, no. of definitive fey presence emerges from it everybody give me except noctia because she's too far away yes dc 15 versus wisdom anybody who's near me gets the difference between their charisma and uh, our, yeah, their charisma it, bonus it would be part of saves right what is it blesses mm -hmm. on saves as well bless it applies to saves it would well. behoove you guys to pass oh. Uh, I have a 15, exactly. 17. You, just, you said wisdom, right? Mm hmm So two passes. I have a 16. Three passes. Oh, man. How'd we do, Grand? Uh, I, I, have, I have 19 uh, before I've even added my bonus, so uh, yeah, we're doing Too good. stupid to be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the creature does his best flash imitation and runs directly at Doroth. And as he reaches you, he is inside of you. And you take seven hit points of damage as you feel him wiggling around. Ew. Joel, you should probably contact HR. This is inappropriate. <laughs> this is this is Absolutely. bad touch. Show me where the big bad guy touched you. <laughs> Everywhere. Where's my protection from good and evil all the time? <laughs> the Harrius, it is in him. Oh, wrong. I pattern. threw it on first. For, uh, I threw that on before we got in here. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to grab oh, door off and drag him outside the the circle of runes. Give me a strength check. Also note that Noctia is parked on the bridge. Right. 
I just want to get him out where we can get our contact to Bane again. Okay. A strength check is a 16. Uh, Doroth, give me a strength check. Uh, 22. Jeez. Uh, that's a 20. Uh, he's dragging his feet and he ain't going. Uh, Deharius has him wrapped up, uh, which is a plus. And that brings us to 13. Deirdre, you can tell that something has possessed your I will. I will move over to Doroth and I'm going to cast protection from evil and good on him. Okay. So hopefully that helps him. Okay. Uh, 11. Noctia. Oh, fuck. So, so wait, did he get dragged over here? No. Nope. Oh, he didn't move at all. <laughs> I, uh, my 19 strength is a little too much. <laughs> You're the beat your beefcake. Oh, Lord, I have no... Hang on. Let's see. What might be useful? Throw him <laughs> into the lava. <laughs> that would be helpful. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just stick his head in the lava. He'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just oh, can't breathe. Let me let me make see him what... look like Groot on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I run in there, I'm going to be <laughs> in the room, so I'm not going to be able to do anything. I'm going to hold action until you guys bring him out to me, and then I'm I'm figuring out something. All right, I'm looking at my spells and see if there's anything that could do that could help him get this thing out of him. Doroth. Uh, give me a DC or, uh, no, he's, he's inside of you. You can feel your innards being moved about. What would you like to do? Harry carry uh, an option. Um, yeah, oh. I don't know what to do. Cause I can't, uh, unpossess myself. It almost sounds less like a possession, more like he's just crawling around inside you. Yeah, Maybe move, punching yourself in the gut might be the right choice. <laughs> try if you can move outside the ring. I'm gonna try to move outside of the runes. Strength check against me, please. Yeah. Uh, twenty-two again. You slowly move towards the bridge. Grand, uh, Doroth looks like he has to poop really bad. Oh, I'm steering clear away from that. Um, I'm actually going to like, because uh, I feel like the, everybody else is kind of like figuring that out. I mean, like, I'm looking for that acorn. I'm going to like try to kick around the, the remains of the, the statue, see if maybe that's... Uh, that's Good call. Similar. You and Nocti just ignore the combat situation, start <laughs> looting the body. Uh, that's fine. You can go ahead. Give me an investigation check. Oh, boy. I am the best at these. Apparently, I'm actually pretty good today. Uh, that is a 16. All of you can hear Grand exclaim, Look at this gemstone! <laughs> Oi! You have found one of the eyes. Uh, good news, Doroth. Top of the order, my turn. I move outside of your body. Oh, nice. And uh, none of you are afraid. And I appear 20 feet away from Grand towards the back of the cave. Sure. Uh, I, I am clearly an evil fae of some kind. Uh, 15. Darius. Um, so, he, so he appears <laughs> insubstantial. What? He appears in, is, he like, is he like a shade or is he Look, he looks almost drow but he's not. But he looks solid. Oh, yeah. He's okay. definitely something. He is not a specter or a shadow or anything. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm going I'm gonna to stand my ground, weapon out and, and ready. And, but just look at him. Who are you? 13. Deirdre. Okay. okay. Uh, just to note, when I cast protection from good and evil, it basically ends the bless spell. Okay. Um, so, um, I'm going to attack this Darn. guy. Darn. <laughs> okay. Does. Go ahead. Part of the game. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to attack, I'm going to attack the, uh, the, the elf Thing. guy. Yep. Call him elf guy. Uh, bonus action. I'm going to ignite the sword. 
Uh, critical hit. Nice. I will use my last smite. Wise choice. Uh, so that's that. That's this. It's a lot of dice rolling. Sorry. You're fine. So 11, 12, 16, 23, 28. Nice. 29, 31, 34, 38, 6, 42, 5, 11, 22. Hold on. 48. Potato. <laughs> 48. 48 <laughs> damage. <laughs> Nicely done. Uh, Noctia sitting on the bridge, oh, dangling okay. your feet over. That was my first attack. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm not sitting on the bridge. I'm staying there. I'm about to charge in. Um, I have uh, 21 to hit. That hits. Okay. And then you take um, 7, 8, 9, uh, 9, 15, 17 damage. Now I'm done. And a lot of spell slots, guys. That's it. It only took you. I didn't use mine, so I still got most of mine. Noctia, as soon as the creature leaves Doroth, he gets a full head of steam on. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like, go! Uh, and he's running towards you, but it is your turn. It's my turn. So the thing is still there, right? Okay, I'm going to ignite my sword. I'm going to run to it, and I'm going to... It, it's From you, it's about 75 feet away. Oh, wait, Really? Yeah, because you had to be 60 feet outside of the range for the wisdom check. Oh, no, then I should have made it because according to you, I was only about 35. I made it to 35 feet and it was like right at the edge of the thing. I only moved slightly over it. Right. Yeah, you were right past it. I would have needed two actions. Uh, to get one, one, once you go in, uh, yeah. you're going to have to roll your fear. So you know what? I'll tell you what. Let's Let's cut... Let's cut to the chase here. Yep. Run in and attack it, but first make your DC 15 right. versus wisdom. All right. Uh, or you and Doroth the Incontinent can run away. Fucking hell. I wish we had re-rolled. I... <laughs> <laughs> she runs <laughs> forward. Ah! Turns around and runs out. <laughs> I assume you fail. Yep. Uh, yeah. Bye. Doroth, you're up. <laughs> Uh, um, Doroth, wait, wait, I speed. wait, I have an action. I'm casting heroism on myself to cancel that. I mean, I will still start running out. Uh, I, I, each, each creature within 60 feet, DC 15 versus wisdom, are frightened uh, with dash movement speed. Right, but does it say I have to use a dash on my action? Yes. Okay. Fright, frightened with dash movement. All right. Just checking. Just do, use it next time. Yeah. yeah. Doroth, you're up. Assuming um, Grunt doesn't finish it off. Where? Uh, I guess I'm going to move towards the the specter thing. Mm -hmm. Again. And try to swing at it if I can. Sure. I don't know how ahead. far away it is. I'll give it to you. Go ahead. All right. Uh, first attack. Um. Two plus seven is nine, so that doesn't hit. That hits. Nine hits. Nine hits. I'm going to smite. We're at second level. It's got four hit points left. <laughs> oh. Tried. This uh, is 26 points of damage. Yeah, this is something called an idolon. It, Edelon? Yeah. Edelon. Yeah. And that the oh, uh, the statue was a sacred statue. <laughs> uh, as you kill it with that much damage, you chop the thing's head off. Uh, as it falls to the ground, the acorn of the Fae rolls out of its belt pouch. Found it. Somebody oh, tell Noctia she can stop running. <laughs> <laughs> it dies so i stop running yeah this is yeah it's ac is nine and it hit points average is 63 the tough part is the sacred statue statue yeah uh 
the mountain begins to shake. <laughs> Time to go. It does. Out of here. That, Time to go. That's, that's 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 our that's our calling card, right? Every time we go to a building, it blows up. <laughs> As you run out of the inner sanctum, you are in the caldera. Do you want to make a beeline, or do you want to go around? <laughs> I think like around is still the right answer. Yeah. yeah. We knew that the, the mountain is shaking and rocks are falling, but you want to go around. We go around, but we'll move fast. Yeah, we our steps. For for Grand, oh, uh, Nat Twenty on Deirdre. Uh, Thank you. Seven hit points of damage as Shale catches you in the clavicle. Uh, but you each make it out. As you make it out to where your horses are lashed to the statues, the statues are exploding, come crashing down, and the lion pair of statues sinks beneath the sand. All right. Great. We blew up the entire dungeon. Hooray. We'll call this a win. SOP. We did it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, you guys, you guys did pretty well. Uh, final thoughts, Deirdre, you first. Oh, this is great. Thank you. Um, this is really cool. I like, I like how you're. I guess I, I love how you're open and honest about armor class. There's a lot of GMs who like to hide that. It's so much. It makes it so much faster. Yes, it slows down everything. <laughs> Plus, you guys will figure it out sooner or later. Well, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Oh, this, this is fun. Thanks, really Darius. Uh, this was a lot of fun. I really enjoy your style. Thank you very much. When are we coming back? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever you want. Yeah. Carol, go ahead. Oh, I got Yeah, this is fun. That was, I mean, frustrating for me, but that was my dice and taking that much damage. So I really couldn't be in the fight because, you know, I really like being in these fights. But yeah, I thought it, I, I love the fact it was different. It was even different for like yourself. Usually you don't throw puzzles like, you know, math prop puzzles in at us. Uh, that was <laughs> really like it was very interesting. It's, your scenarios usually are pretty interesting, but I thought it was more interesting than maybe even your normal ones. Liked it. I'll take that as a win. Uh, Doroth, uh, what'd you think? It was fun. I enjoyed it. Well, that's a plus. And last but not least, Grand Potato. What do you yeah. think? Right. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Uh, I like that. Th I, I like that the adventure was kind of a, a um, uh, you circumvented a convention because I was legit expecting a more traditional Fey experience, and it kind of wasn't. Which go I was like, oh man, I feel like this like a shoe is going to drop. The whole thing's a giant glamour, and it just is like, nah. It seems like we just <laughs> we just came in the back end where nobody actually lives, and they had and, and this they just locked that guy in there. I like that. That was uh, I thought that was pretty clever. It's the last place on the planet that you'd ever look for a fey object. <laughs> uh, folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. Uh, the one shot uh, with a hand of Bane, including the middle finger Carol, uh, who got a big middle finger tonight because she choked I over balls. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to buy our cool crap. It's down there. If you want to chat with us in Discord, it's down there. Uh, most importantly, if you want to join us, uh, do a one shot, do a talk show like these guys. Uh, M Hobo Inc. over on Twitter. M Hobo Inc. Uh, over at Gmail. We'd like to thank our sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice, and of course, OddFishGames.com. Still smells like Rustic Tavern. That's all. <laughs> uh, folks, I hope you have a great weekend, and we will see you tomorrow uh, with the Margoo campaign. Those guys are jungle hopping. Uh, all I can hear is uh, 70s Vietnam music because that's what's oh, going to happen to them. Uh, for all of us here at Murder Elbow Wing, thanks for joining us. Uh, let's give everybody a big wave and the uh, love connection kiss, and we're out of here. Uh. <laughs> Bye, buddy.